I'm just taking a photo right now. This is the awkward part where I go. This is this is hysterical. What is up Kilo crew and welcome to today's video. Today Randy and I are inside of Pegasus driving ourselves to Wausau, Wisconsin where we're going to be taking on a food challenge in a ghost kitchen. So that'll be pretty neat but it's going to be held at a place called Timekeeper Distillery and we will be feasting on a ton of delicious Filipino food which is super super jazzy because I've yet to do a Filipino food challenge. I know it's going to be delicious but of course we will catch you guys with more details when the food arrives. has arrived here in front of me. This is all courtesy of Westside Tasty Treat slash Taste of Manila who is working out of Timekeeper Distillery as a ghost kitchen. I will have 45 minutes to take on all of the food you see in front of me, plus perhaps a little dessert at the end, we will see. But in front of me, I have two pounds of their garlic fried rice. I have about a pound of their pancit here, which is like a delicious rice noodle that's all fried up with some chicken. I have eight of their pork lumpia over here as well, which is about two pounds. And then I also have some of their chicken adobo served up with potatoes. On the side, I do have some delicious dipping sauces as well. And then since we are in a distillery I'm going to be sipping this I had no idea I was signing up for a 7% cocktail in a can so we're gonna get buzzed today Kilo crew but anyways the very clever name of this challenge is the sorry not sorry challenge and sorry is s-a-r-i I'll have that pop up on the screen which basically is just tagalog for variety so there's sorry sorry stores over there anywho plenty of talking I will get you guys some more info in the voiceover but without further delay let's get this challenge started a few inches later. All right, y'all. So again, 45 minutes on the clock to win this $45 meal for free, which is a heck of a deal for all this food. But anyways, I'm stalling probably because I'm nervous about this cocktail. But uh, one, two, three. Let's eat some delicious Filipino food for my first Filipino challenge. Here we go. So oh. some rice. Carbs. Mm. <laughs> Yum. Mm. Ooh. That's garlicky. I'm gonna give Randy a big kiss after this. Mm. Oh yeah. Ooh, that's good. Mm. She can eat whatever she wants, and I would still just love her to pieces. No, oh, he's doing that for the camera. She cannot say the same. No. So I, I do not do garlic bread. Like <laughs> okay, this garlic is amazing. All right, Kilo crew, welcome to this rather potently scented food challenge here. It was a good one. That is really good. All right, let's try the uh, potato that's in the adobo chicken. Ooh, oh, that's buttery. Yeah, those potatoes practically dissolved and melted in my mouth. It was insane how buttery they were. That is really good carbohydrate right there. We should go for a run. This challenge was probably Dr. Atkins' worst nightmare. This thing was loaded with carbohydrates. Delicious, delicious carbohydrates. All right, I think that's it for the potato. Let's eat it on this adobo chicken. I love this stuff. Oh, tender. So tender that I think my voice might have cracked a little bit there. Uh, maybe I was getting emotional. Okay, that is tasty. I'm sad that that's gone. Luckily, I have another one. Seriously, I would have opted to eat an entire platter just of that adobo chicken. It was next level delicious. That's clean. All right, looks like there's a thigh left. Let's get it. Nothing quite captures my heart like a double C thick, juicy chicken thigh. Mm -mm -mm. This is so good, y'all. Mm. Ooh, a little bit of red chili on there, pack some heat. Focus, Katina, focus. I think I was having a little too much fun with this one. All right, that is it for the chicken. Mm, that is good. Wow. All right, here's what I'm looking forward to the most is the lumpia, the pork lumpia. So we're gonna try it plain and then we'll dip it in some of the variety of sauces. 
That is really good plane. I need one more plane bite. That is awesome. Alright, let's try the sweet and sour. Mmm. Mmm. Or you know what? That was the sweet vinegar. Ooh, that's really good. The sweet and sour is a different color. You'll have to forgive my ignorance on the sauces. I was happier than a kid in a candy store here. <laughs> that is so good. Alright, now this is sweet and sour. Add a girl. Now you're getting it. Now you're doing your job properly. Yes, ma'am. As delicious as the dipping sauces were, they were absolutely unnecessary. The lumpia were super juicy all on their own. Yeah, this is a good day in the office, let me tell you. Yeah, lumpia can sometimes be a bit dry when you eat them, but these ones were juicy, loaded with flavor, but not in like a greasy way, just an absolute flavor-packed sort of way. Final lumpia, I'm a little heartbroken. That's all right, that means we're on to the pancit, which I love. Yes, I absolutely love anything in the noodle and or pasta family, so I was really looking forward to the pansit. Wow, that is so good. All right, we're gonna celebrate that Lumpia victory with a little bit of health here. Mmm, health. I felt like Littlefoot eating a tree star here. Shout out to all the 90s kids who know the reference. <laughs> yeah, health. All right, let's get after some of this pancit. I love good rice noodles. I do indeed, and these did not disappoint. Ooh, that is really good. All right, y'all, I think I do plenty of talking in the rest of this video, so I'm gonna call this uh, voice over here, and I'll catch you in the next one. I can feel the uh, local vampires screeching in terror. There's a lot of garlic. Last little bits of the pancit here. That was so good. I'm gonna leave no doubt. All right. Way to go. Time for some rice. Let's get it. That is so good. I feel like now is an appropriate time to try the cocktail too. We're just gonna break things up. So this cocktail is a cocktail in a can. This is the distillery's uh, specialty here. Gin with natural flavor and carbonation, bees knees bar cart cocktail. So here we go. Cheers, cheers to everyone in here. Thank you for watching. Yeah. yeah, that tastes like I'm gonna be passed out somewhere later. All right. Uh oh, woo! Thank goodness. Into the rice. Let's do the uh, the real challenge now. I have like a wad of uh, rice right about here. It's got a, woo. That was the key. Final scrapings of rice. Brandy's here, so I need to clean the table. Hey, I'm sorry. Amen. Mm -hmm. I was watching for that kilo crew. Uh-huh. Mm. Oh my God. All right. Woo! Wow, that was so delicious. Oh, I have not had that good of a day in the office in a long time. Wow. All right, so 15 minutes and five seconds was my official time to finish the sorry, not sorry challenge. I am definitely not sorry. I just ate all that. That was delightful. Um, apparently, I'm about to have a uh, sweet mango dessert brought out to me I'm pretty jazzed about because I do have a bit of a sweet tooth after all that sodium, but anywho, for winning, I do get that amazing $45 spread for free and a spot up on Taste of Manila's Wall of Fame, so that'll be super awesome. Yeah, very delightful, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys maybe when dessert comes out, but until then, okay, peace out, bye! Oh. <laughs> Later. Okay, so I have the mango float in front of me. It's a little overexposed in this lighting, but I am really excited for this. A traditional Filipino treat. There's always room for dessert. Ooh. Oh, yeah, there's room for that. There's like a some sort of crusty deliciousness in here. Yo, that's like cheesecake. They have a full container of these in the back, y'all. Order one. Mmm. Wow. Anyway, I'm gonna finish polishing this thing off. Probably chug this drink. But yeah, again, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, yeah, again, until the next video, there's no more peace out by. We'll just, we'll see you soon. Wow. Oh, oh.